Sanford MMA here in South Florida, Deerfield Beach. This is great. This is an awesome place. Henry Hoof, Greg Jones. Guys, it's great to be here. Tell us a little bit first about Sanford MMA here at, in Deerfield Beach, South Florida. Yeah, I, I guess I'll go first. Um, me and Henry, we've been together, what, five or six years now? Yeah, um, we started at another, another location, but we, uh, about a year and a half ago, we merged with uh, Sanford Health. It's, uh, Sanford Health is a uh, multi-billion dollar healthcare corporation out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Um, so we're very fortunate to be able to form this relationship and uh, Sanford allows us to do some things as coaches and with our athletes as far as providing medical care, um, providing a lot of resources to our fighters and really with the goal of um, you know, changing the face of mixed martial arts um, and really in the light in which the, these athletes are seen in. So. If you could expand on that too, because this is so unique. This is almost like this is the hybrid. This is going to be the model of what could be in the future too. So if you could expand a little bit of that and the importance of the health and just that partnership that came together. Yeah, I know, you know, from, from myself uh, personally, I come from a collegiate background. I coached at a Division One University, uh, West Virginia University for 10 years. Um, the NCAA has really figured out uh, the system as far as resources and the, the care they take for our athletes. So we, uh, we kind of want to carry that over and take in a holistic approach and the way we care for our athletes, you know, we're gonna, we want to win fights, we're gonna win fights, we're gonna do the right things. Um, but ultimately we want people to come, come through this program and come out the other side, better fighter and most importantly, better men. Um, and with an organization like Sanford, um, it gives us the opportunity and the resources to really um, take a swing at doing it the right way. Coach Henry, when you first learned about all this, what were your thoughts and just everything about putting this all together? Yeah, well, like Greg said before, Greg uh, has a totally different background and he's seen this before the model, but I come from, uh, from kickboxing where there's no real care. I mean, it's a national sport in the Netherlands, so we fight a lot, but um, the aftercare or even the, the care before or how you treat uh, the fighters in general is just a regular sport. And I think, this, especially in MMA, uh, this uh, stage, uh, what's happening in the world, we were the first uh, sport live uh, on TV. Everybody's watching it, millions of people every week. Uh, I, think, um, I think we need to step up our game. If you see the, the NHL, the NBA, NFL, that's a model that we want to go to because I think our athletes deserve that. Also, the coach deserve that and the organization, you know. So I think with, with that push, we want to try and set the first steps to changing the game and make it, the, in general, the sports better, you know. What kind of reception did you both get when this all came out and everybody started hearing, oh, what, what did they do? Sanford, what's going on? What is well, this? Well, the first thing is that everybody thought that we uh, sold our business to the brand or whatever, we sold our name, but we didn't. They are just uh, our partners. You know, we're still the same company, we're still the same people. Kami is uh, one of our other partners. Dave Martin is uh, one of our other partners. So we just partner, partner up, not only with Sanford, but if you look around here, you see the Showride, you see the Incredible, you see a lot of medical, Don Jor, a lot of medical sponsors that all jumped aboard because they see this thing growing as something that's something special. Again, the fight career is, is very short, but the aftercare, the health and everything is much more important. So that's what these people see and they, they want to help us out with that. So, but again, a lot of people are asking us questions because the first thing they think is that we get millions and millions and millions of dollars because we signed a sponsor deal, but that's not the case. You know, we just partner up and try to change the sport and slowly get in a better stage for everybody, for the fighters, trainers, everybody that's involved in sport, everybody needs to grow. Not only the organization, the manager and the fighter, everybody, you know. How do you like this facility in South Florida? You've been in South Florida a long time, I know. You've come a long way from that little shopping plaza yes. with the little, just little, cheap little place that was in there and yeah. all. And now you have this really nice, big, great facility. Just how do you feel about that and being in South Florida and staying in South Florida? I think, I think we both have the same thing. We, we still do the same thing really that we did <laughs> in the same small spot. This was always, we're, same, we're still on the road. We never <laughs> home on Sundays. We still are layovers. We still miss flights. We still come back in the gym Monday and everybody asks me a hundred times how the fight went while well, they still saw the same fight as we saw. So for us, nothing changes. We have a better location. But again, in general, uh, we now have meetings. Nah, we don't ever have meetings, but we talk a lot about stuff. So it's, it's much of a, a bigger picture. All right, Greg? Yeah, yeah. no, I think, um, you know, from an execution standpoint and from a professionalism standpoint too, I think that's one of the um, one of the biggest things that we've kind of circled is you know 
with with resources um, and opportunities comes a lot of responsibility too, right? So um, it's very important that we impose that upon our, our fighters, that it's not only important how you conduct yourself in the cage, um, but also how you conduct yourself on the streets, in the community, and things like that. And, um, you know, I think what we see, the way our world works, you know, with everything being so shrunk with social media and stuff like that, you know, word travels pretty quickly, you know, and the fighters talking amongst themselves, we have guys from, from all over the world texting, calling, emailing us um, almost daily uh, the, the, for the opportunity to come and train with us. Speaking of such, whether it was then or now, so many great fighters that are here. And I would like to know, Professional Fighters League, unbelievable organization. They're starting their season up in April. If you could talk about some of the fighters from PFL that you all are training with. Yes. Oh, well, I think this season uh, uh, we're very happy and very, uh, yeah. it's very cool for everybody in the gym that Rory McDonald is here training, preparing for that, uh, for that season. I mean, and he's training together with Robbie Lawler. These guys have probably one of the best fights ever, you know. And now they're training together on the same mat. For our young students, it's very important to, be, to have these people around. But, uh, so he's uh, going to do the se uh, season with us. And then Lloyd, uh, one of our, uh, I think he's a, a lightweight contender. Um, uh, I think uh, he, uh, he, will, uh, he was in the finals last year, so he was already very high, he's already on the high, high level. But uh, I think these are the two guys that we have this moment in there. And, uh, uh, I think the, the tournament uh, formula is kind of cool, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know what you get, you know where you're going to fight and you know where you're going to get to, so that's a cool thing and uh, I think uh, I think we're going to do amazing. I think these two guys are, of course, they already proved that they're very good and Rory is already a champion, so uh, I'm just excited to work with these guys, you know. If you could elaborate too on Rory because of his background, you mentioned the Robbie Lawler fight. Yeah. which was incredible. And now, right, they're both here. Yeah. Do you know if Robbie had any influence with Rory coming here at all, or no? Uh, I, well, maybe, I don't know really, not, not, not personally. Uh, he reached out to us, but I think he comes from a great camp. He's been champion with Firas, with the good people already. It's not that he doesn't has any good tra training over there, but I think uh, it's at a certain time in the career, uh, they want to look for something that gives them the extra motivation, give them some new feel. Uh, and we, his coaches are still, uh, we are cool with his coaches still coming here, helping us out, helping each other out. Because at the end of the day, we all work together. This guy is already a champion. We don't need to teach him how to fight. We just want to give him some extra details that we, Greg, and me think that are important for, uh, for him to use in the fight. But again, like I said, we both, I speak for both of us, I, we both uh, are really happy that, to see him walking around. And our young students are going to pick up a lot of stuff from, from Rory, you know. And, uh, and the audience is going to see a guy that's really... Uh, Technically, I like to see him fight. I always like to see him fight because technically sound, he can fight wars, but he can also win very, uh, very clean uh, demonstration kind of like fights, you know? So I'm a, I'm a big fan of him, you know? Greg, what can you say too about the talent here and also about that PFL format, which is different because it's a tournament style format. Yeah, no, I think um, the PFL uh, has been a great addition. Um, to the, I guess, the organization list. Um, just like Henry said too, um, it's nice for a fighter to know what their schedule, what their calendar is gonna look like. You know you're gonna fight in April, you're gonna fight in the, again in the, another six weeks, you're gonna fight two times in another six weeks after that. So I think it's good, it, it helps as far as being able to plan um, and set your goals throughout the calendar. Um, and then the, the guys we have in it were, um, both of them, both that I can't, you know, speak highly enough about the type of addition they've been to our gym. Coach Henry, what can you say about your partner, your friend, part of Stanford MMA, Greg? What can you say about him? Well, he's lazy, he's ugly, he smells, <laughs> he's, a, he's a bad roommate, that's why we always have separate rooms. No, I mean, everybody who knows Greg knows who, who Greg is, how he is. Uh, we, we, I think we, we are good together because we're totally different people, but we uh, totally understand each other in the corners. From the beginning on, we, we work very easy, very well. I mean, he's a legend in his sport, you know? People don't even, I always have to explain who he really is, because pe that's why people always talk about me, but I'm not, nothing without him. And again, Kami and Dave, we, we, we're working as a team, and our fighters, but um, the good thing with it is, when you have a high level uh, uh, athlete, the guy that's been a champion, and he can teach, you don't see that often. You see a lot of people, like I was good at kickboxing, but I wasn't the best. And, 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 but in training, 
I try to be the best and I, and I can kind of feel where it goes. With Greg, I have the feeling that, that with him, that, that he, has, he, hasn't have, he doesn't have that. He, is, he was very high level and he coaches the same way. And you don't see that very often. And also, he's much better, well-spoken. That's why I let him always talk about difficult stuff. Uh, because I work harder than him. But, but he uh, speaks six languages. But I speak a couple <laughs> languages. But we, again, the most important thing is we connect in the corners and we connect on the floor and I know when to shut up when he needs and he knows when to shut up when I need. So that's all you need, really. And I'm going to pose that, but first, what six languages? Well, not six, but I speak <laughs> at least four. I speak German, English, Dutch and Thai fluent. So that's not bad, right? That's pretty good. With many fights. <laughs> That's three more than me and, and most people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, what a dynamic. And then also, and you know, you mentioned too, we'll get to this, but I mentioned too, baseball, basketball, football, hockey, MMA. Look at the managers, look at the trainers, the coaches. They weren't the, the Michael Jordans or the Dan Marinos. They weren't the star athletes. You yeah. don't have to be the star athletes to be a great trainer or a great coach. It, 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 there is some resonation no, but, but, there like that. One more Time. It's, it's, it, you don't, in my sport, you don't see it often too. Because a really, really high level fighter, good fighter, he wants, he coaches the way he fights, you know, what, what, he, what, what works for him. And some guys have heart, or some guys are just explosive. And, so, and they think that every fighter is like that. Uh, I was good, but I, was, I, I know what I missed to get where I was supposed to. I was talented enough that people said, he's going to win the K1 three times, but I didn't. And I know what, why. And because I know why, I can see it in the fight. I, I, very early, I talked to Greg, and he most of the time he agrees. I said, he'll be a good fighter, but he will surprise us if he will be the, And sometimes they surprise us, but we can spot it often. But he, he, he was the big champion, and he coaches, and he does the same stuff. You don't see that often. It's not because he's sitting next to me, but that's just the way it is. You don't see a top person being able to translate to do it on and that coach level. and train. Right. Again, I always have to explain people who he is. And wrestling is an American sport. You know, they don't even know he, he, who he is. You know, that's like, it's so weird to me. But again, probably just me. More people know pro wrestling than they do the oh, amateur course, wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and then what can you say about the great you coach? You know, I've, um, I've been around athletics my whole life. I've been around a lot of quality coaches. I've been around a lot of, you know, not so good coaches. Um, you know, so from my standpoint, I was very fortunate. Um, whenever I made the transition to MMA, um, to do it with and under Henry, um, what was that, five or six years ago. I think um, the, the leadership that he provides um, is, is second to none. He kind of sets the, the tone and the standard as far as expectations um, in our training, um, which makes my job a lot easier, kind of behind the scenes and putting things together and stuff like that. But I, um, I'm almost 40 years old, and the biggest thing I think that trickles down to our fighters that um, I haven't seen a hard work, harder working coach than Henry Huth. A couple more questions, we'll wrap this up. This place, I noticed when I first come in, there's a pool table, there's a little eatery that's set up, really nice looking and all, very relaxed. Then as you walk in, you get to the nuts and bolts. Here it is, the meat and potatoes, the <laughs> training, and everybody's focused and doing their thing. Was that plant design? that plan designed that way to just be relaxed coming in and then hey here we go boom yeah I think so I think um, I think one of the biggest things you know proximity is important right um, we want this this isn't my gym his gym this isn't Stanford's gym this is our gym so that kind of the attitude that goes along with that is we we want these guys to take ownership not only in the product of our fights but also in this physical facility as well um, I, you know, we want this place to feel like it's theirs. Uh, the more time they spend in and around the gym, the more likely they are to be on the match, training, developing, and things like that. So, absolutely, um, the way the way this facility was mapped out um, with uh, was with the idea of forming a true mixed martial arts team. Um, it's it's primarily an individual sport to the to the casual fan. Um, but what a lot of people don't understand that this is, is as big as a team sport as anyone. Greg, is there expansion plans for Sanford MMA in other areas? Um, I don't know if we have we have any plans mapped out for that. It's not to say we're against it, um, but I would say right now um, we're just over a year into this current facility. Um, 
I know we have some ideas for a phase two and a phase, phase three that we want to get up and running off the ground in this physical location. Um, but I don't think ruling out an additional location is out of the question. Where originally are you from? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. You know where originally you were from? The Netherlands. How do you like South Florida? <laughs> Especially in the winter. I love it. Uh, no, right? February, shorts and the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both so much for having me here. Appreciate it much. Professional Fire League coming up in April. That's going to start great tournament season. ESPN Plus, ESPN. It's going to be awesome. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.